Good evening and welcome to your Wednesday Scarlet Scoop. I'm Ariana Bernard and let's get right into today's top stories. Following Monday's attack on campus, members of the OSU community gathered at a vigil held on Tuesday at St. John's Arena to help the community process the events. President Michael Drake spoke at the event and in his speech he stated all but one victim transported to the OSU Wexner Medical Center have been released. He added half of the victims in other hospitals have been released and the rest are expected to be released in the next few days. For a timeline of Monday's events, you can click on the link below in the description box. Undergraduate student government has created a free safety pack for Ohio State students living off campus. They are located in the off-campus office and students can pick them up for free. The packs include safety alarms that can be placed on windows and doors, light timers that turn lights on at a set time to give off the impression of someone being home, and an off-campus safety handbook that students can use to learn about safety resources. Lantern TV spoke with the student who started this initiative to learn more about the reason behind the safety packs. So I was an off-campus student living um, here over the summer and on my way back home to my apartment I was mugged and assaulted by a group of men and I had to be taken to the hospital. So at that point I kind of realized that um, the off-campus area can be unsafe and I didn't want any other student to have to endure what I had to go through. So I wanted uh, this to be an opportunity where students can have um, safety resources to uh, feel safe and protect themselves. The Fuel Zone is a fairly new concept for Ohio State Athletics and serves the purpose of providing all meals and snacks to student athletes before and after practice. Lantern TV reporter Maggie Heim spoke with the women's volleyball nutritionist to get an inside look at this initiative. So the main purpose of the Fuel Zone is to provide a room where we can allow athletes to come and get fueling that they're going to need to prepare for practice or to recover after practice. And the beauty of the Fuel Zone is that we've always got a nutrition, um, a nutrition student or myself as their sports dietitian here in the room so that we can um, have that touch point conversation before they go to practice or after they're coming from practice. So just like the athletic trainer is able to be at practice before an athlete goes in to train, we can be in this room to make sure we're covering all the nutrition needs before they're going to or coming from a hard practice. That's it for today on Scarlet Scoop. For more campus news, tune into Scarlet Scoops throughout the week and also visit thelantern.com. Go like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter as well. Take care and thanks for watching.